Yo, what's up guys? It's the Elephant and we are going to be trying to beat and win the On The Prowl Challenge. So, win that carbon fiber is the goal and we're hoping for then a ultra rare standard tire car. As you guys probably know, the Jaguar XJ, the Suzuki Kazashi, or maybe the Maybach 62 Landelay, all of those would be very helpful to get from this pack at the end if we are able to reach it. So let's continue, well, we are able to reach it again because I've edited the video down and then are just voicing over it because it, um, it makes the videos better, makes the challenge videos not 30 minutes long, which is hard to edit, hard to have storage for, and also not as enjoyable to watch. So that's why I edited it down a bit and make it a bit easier. So these rounds are a bit interesting though. Some of them are a bit trickier. Did take, it does require court, quite a lot of cars like that Lancia Delta HF all drive is a pretty key one as you guys will see in the future that Lancia is pretty much necessary if you want to pass this challenge and then but luckily I have nearly every car maxed out that's like look super rare and below well there's some that I don't have I don't I wouldn't say nearly have all maxed out but I do have a very large amount and we've got that glitch where my Voxel Astra disappeared but I do have a lot of the lower tier cars maxed out I'm just miss, mi <clears throat> missing like the Nissan Pulsar and the BMW M3 for super rares. Um, rares, I think I have nearly all of them. I don't know if there's any I'm missing. And if I am missing them, it's probably not that important then that I don't remember what one it is. And then uncommons, it was the Renault 21 Savannah, the Estate, and the Nissan Juke. Uh, Nissan Juke would have been pretty useful to get, but didn't pull it, so... Probably won't be maxed out anymore because I don't see any need for having those maxed out in the future um, of this challenge. And that's actually, there has been that um, Japan challenge coming up, the Japan Year of the Tiger challenge. So maybe I might need to open some packs to get the Nissan Juke if it does end up being key. Because I wouldn't mind maxing it out just to have it as another car. And it has high ground clearance too, so it does have a bit of a niche. It could be pretty useful in clubs for off-road events sometimes. But I don't know. I'd have to pull it first. I still haven't pulled one yet. So we're getting a bit more RQ, which is what I like to see because the more RQ, the better the chance I have at uh, being able to use my more, my better rain cars, really. Like the higher the RQ gets, that I can use like an Epic or something, but I'm not even sure if we're allowed to use Epics yet. It's just going with Ultra Rares and stuff right now. And that works out fine by me. The MWM, could, it, I could see being a pretty useful one in the future, but don't really know in the future of the challenge. It could be pretty key, but there are some better ones too, like the Mazda RX-7. The Mazda RX-7 is a very useful one to have for this challenge. But let's just continue forth with what we're doing. Because the Mazda RX-7 could get some pretty easy wins um, against the Ford Focus. The Ford Focus, it's got 0.1 less 0 to 60, but the thing that it does have against the Ford Focus is it has rear wheel drive. So that it's able to beat the um, uh, the Ford Focus on rain, which there does seem to be quite a lot of rain in these events. Which is why I'm a little nervous then about not having a standard tire ultra rare yet, or unless we do get one from this carbon fiber, so we will have to see. So, let's continue on through this round too. These rain rounds aren't too difficult. Pontiac G GXP as well. Luckily, I have that from a while ago that I won from that prize car challenge. And because that is a very key one, I got very lucky with the prize cars they chose because they have the BMW Epic, the RQ75 one, and I, um, what else is it? I have the Pontiac G8 GXP, both of which are very useful in this challenge. Or I don't know if the BMW is useful yet, it probably will be. I could, I've checked the rounds in the future, and it looks like it'll be very key in the future just to have it like, and I have it maxed out too, so it can get me some very easy wins then that I don't have to worry about. So, let's see how we can do on this one. Super Legacy winning there. It's going to be interesting to see how the M Coupe performs against the Lamborghini Countach. It does actually beat it, even though the M Coupe has no MRA, pretty much. Then GHXP gets the win right there against the Astra. Very nice. And then right here, Maserati gets the win as well. And there, our Subaru will also get the win. So, going on through that round now, what round are we at? That's round 9. Okay, on to round 10. Gotta switch up the hand again. It's North Loop. North Loops are pretty interesting, but I feel like I should have enough with this hand. Hopefully the Astra can win. That's the only 
only questionable race I think we have here. All the other ones I think we are able to win. I don't think the Legacy has enough MRA to beat the MQ, which it doesn't. That's good, because that could have been a bit of an issue. Now it's just all comes down to if the Astro can beat the Stock Legacy. We've got the better handling, better 0-60. to 60. They have the better MRA. We do have a bit of turns, though, in the track. So it looks like we are maintaining a sustainable lead. Plus, we're getting into more corners. They are catching up a tiny bit, but I feel like, yep, that's enough. We got enough in our car, enough stats in our car to maintain the lead in the front. So, on to the final 10 rounds now. Got to switch up the hand, and we'll use something like this. It's another north loop, but we got more RQ, so this shouldn't be too bad at all. First with the GHGXP, pretty easy win right there. The, this one will be interesting, because I'm pretty sure that BMW has good MRA against the 4 Sierra RX Cosworth. But it looks like similar situation with the Astra, though. We just had the better specs, so we were just able to stay in front then the whole time. BMW M5 wins here, because we've got good MRA, and we've got the better stats. Then right here, this should be a win as well, which it is, very nice. And this last one should be a pretty big win. With the Kutosh having the insane MRA, and with North Loop Relay 5 being the one with the very long straight. So there we go. Round 12 now. And we have to go back down to lower our Q, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue because I've got all the good rain cars. So this shouldn't be too bad. Just throw everything into the spots right there. All their on paper stats show that they'd be better and would win the race. So I feel like we should be good going through this round, but sometimes you never know with rain. Rain could have very interesting results sometimes. Round 13 now. We were able to make it through anyway. The rain did not halter our progress. So, that Chrysler Cronus actually isn't too bad of a car. I did max it out later after I recorded this video because I pulled one. And it's not its not too bad of one. It's actually pretty useful. It's got good MRA, I think, like high 79, which for a super rare is definitely not bad, especially for one with relatively good all around stats too. 4.90 to 60, 85 handling. It's actually not too bad of one, and it could be pretty useful in clubs in the future, which is usually where I end up using super rares like that. So it might not be too bad. It could also be useful for Chrysler events though, because Chrysler events do show up sometimes, and I don't have too great of a Chrysler hand. All right, on to round 14 now. Switching up the hand again, using the maximum RQ we are allowed to use. And luckily having that Riddle Laguna is very useful. So we will just continue forth. Sierra wins, and then the Laguna will win because we're the 3-2-3 spec, and then luckily I've got two as well because there is a challenge uh, round in the future that has two maxed out legendaries and they're unmixed and you're very low RQ so you can't use any off-roaders, and so the only thing that you can use is those two rental Lagunas. I'm not sure if I passed that round yet already or not because I don't really remember, but yeah, you gotta have two Renault Lagunas for that, so that's pretty interesting then. Very interesting requirement of a specific car, but that's kind of a key car where you know if you're unpacking it for this challenge, it's gonna be like one of your best cars and you should at least keep two, which is what I did then because it, you kind of know with a car like that it's gonna be very useful. For the cars that stand out a lot like that, or like the Subaru Legacy, even the Nissan X-Trail, you kind of know you're gonna need to have one then. Same goes for the Vauxhall Astra as well. Hopefully that won't be the same situation with the Jaguar X or Suzuki Kazashi. But there we go, that Maserati's still doing great after pulling it from that challenge a long time ago. And the Vauxhall Astra winning as well. And so on to round 16 now, we've got five rounds left. And we should be able to make it through without any error. Slow, fast, and twisty. And there we go. Kind of running out of stuff to commentate about with the Year of the Tiger Challenge, because it's just kind of the challenge. It's just happening. Hopefully we can get that legendary prize car. That, that Reno legend, that, not legendary, the Reno Epic prize car, that was a very nice one. It's got that front wheel drive, and it's got 92 handling stock, which means it'll probably get up to 102, then maxed out two through three, which could just be, that's very useful in general. Like that's Mazda Furai handling. So I might max it out if I get it. Like I could make it a max out project, but I also am working on like saving up my fuse material for ultra rares. For when a final rolls around, like the one with the Bentleys, where then I was able to get tier 3, because I put, um, ultra rare, I spent ultra rares to upgrade my Bentleys, and I'm kind of just saving fuse for that for an update, or, ooh, an update too, that just reminded me, or save up fuse for an update, because that might be a good idea, because I would like to, 
because I want to win like one of the overpowered prize cars that come out when when a finals is released because usually they always release an overpowered prize card and they were going to a JPT it was supposed to be the Volkswagen ID IDR Pikes Peak but then JPT got delayed and they already had the finals going so they couldn't like delay it any further and so then it turned into Japanese 90s and that's why still though the JPT cars were pretty useful but then they also had Japanese 90s cars in there as well so that people already still had good hands and I didn't really have too good of a shot for the Volkswagen however then I was able to win the Dodge Viper which is still not a bad car but it's not your like RQ90 plus car or I mean like your RQ95 plus car like for American Frontier I remember the Koenigsegg 1-1 came out as the prize for that so hopefully I'll save fuse and then get good pulls hopefully i'll probably also do like another one million pack opening when that happens too oh and that was the round where that what the suzuki kazashi my box 62 lane delay or the um what should we call it the jaguar xj were required unless i found a kt play someone found a workaround where you could get enough bonus points you get 301 to 50 which is very close but it worked, and so yeah, not having that car at that point, don't have to open up any carpet fibers yet then, which is good. We'll just keep on going with the free ones, because I don't really feel like spending any more money on these carpet fiber packs, because I kind of already have everything I want. There are those epic Subarus, which would be nice, because I still don't have an epic Subaru project yet, so that would be very cool. Or there's also the Jaguar CX-75, I'm not really interested in the Lambo Legendary, it's not that great. I mean, if I pulled it, I'd be happy with it, but I don't really want to spend money just to then end up with a Lamborghini Legendary. And then the Ultra Rares, it's really just the Jaguar XJ, my back, and the other one. But here we go. We're coming up on our carbon fiber now. We made it. I managed to make commentary. Oops. I dropped something. But yeah. So let's get this carbon fiber and hopefully get that Ultra Rare. But I have a feeling it's going to be an Epic or a Legendary again. It's going to be like the Bentley situation where I want an Ultra Rare and then they'll give me an Epic or a Legendary. I just have a feeling that's going to happen. So let's see. Let's see what we will get after we finish watching these three rounds. Pontiac wins, and then the BOW M Coupe also wins. And then for our last race, we are using the Maserati, which should also win, which it does. Very nice. All right, carbon fiber time. Let's see what we can get. Will it be the car we need? So, Ford Probe GT, Land Rover Disco 3, Land Rover Freelander, Super Legacy, and let's go an epic subaru i actually did get one i ended up actually getting an epic subaru finally so yeah that's going to be added to the garage it's going to be probably maxed out in the future because i i've been waiting for a good epic subaru project to work on and then i did get it and it was like similar to the bentley situation i'm hoping for an ultra rare and then i'll get an epic but that's a good one and i could also maybe use that as a replacement to the other one in the future um, to as a replacement to the Jaguar or the Suzuki in the future. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.